There are so many hidden gem swatches on items in this game that I sometimes don't even realize exist. I feel like I tend to just write off items when the preview swatch is a little bit icky because I assume that I'm not gonna like any of the rest of the swatches, but really there's usually a couple super cute ones kind of sneakily hidden in there that I just don't even notice. So recently I've been trying to do a lot of builds, really focusing in on some of those hidden gem swatches that I don't use very often, and it made me realize that one of the things I never ever ever go for in this game is orange. I never ever use orange in my Sims builds. I think that orange might be my least favorite color. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's not my vibe and it's definitely not something that I gravitate towards when it comes to furnishing my builds. So here's the plan. I think that we should try to build a house that is like really, really orange, just not in an ugly way. Like orange, but in a cool way. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be difficult for me because there's a reason I don't use orange and I, I just don't like it. Normally I'd even like put on an orange shirt and like really try to embrace the theme, but I, I don't even own any orange. <laughs> We're stepping way far out of my comfort zone today. I do have some little lights that I can put on behind me to like up the orange vibes, but I don't think it's really screaming orange. Maybe I make it more red toned. No, 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 no. No, that's scary. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I didn't mean it. We'll make do with just the strip light on my shelves. <laughs> that's enough. I'm kind of envisioning this orangey stucco color on the whole exterior. Maybe we could use some like horse ranch stone or something. I'm kind of picturing we try and match almost like that sort of house style, to be honest. Although I don't really like that house in particular. <laughs> but that could be nice because it fits in with Oasis Springs and we've got a lot of, oh wow, okay. We've got a lot of orangey toned roof colors, I was gonna say, but that one was a little bit scary. Oh, you know what? We should try and make sure we have like a really nice back patio with like a pool and stuff. This place has potential and hopefully it won't be too expensive because I want it to be small, but I've built some really pricey places this week. So I, I need to like tone it down a little bit so things can actually be playable for people. Although I just said I wanted to add a pool and having a pool immediately makes it cost way, way, way more money. I don't know if I like this shape too much. It's like kind of sprawling almost. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I might come back and do the back after I figure out the roof a bit more. That seems a little bit counterintuitive, but the back is stressing me out. So I'm gonna think about the rest of it first. I think it should be just one story. I, I don't think it should be anything too big. Oh no. <laughs> this is a very complicated roof shape. There's like so much going on and not in a good way. Maybe some of the little roof accent detail-y thingies will help us. I've always loved this item. So maybe I could try and fit that in somehow, like above the front door. Oh, of course it doesn't come in orange. <laughs> It has like that yellow tone, but not the orange. This doesn't come in orange either. Oh no. And this is too light. I think it would be better if it came in the matching orange color, but nothing comes in the matching orange color. Does having an actual roof texture help? No. You know what? No roof there. It's this part that makes it too many pieces. Make it smaller. Try like a different kind of roof over here just to get some shape variation. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's orange. Not the right shade of orange, of course, cause that would make things too easy, but that is orange. That's so tall. Why is it so tall? I don't think it works. Okay, I'm starting by putting a fence around the whole backyard. I think also I might take it off the foundation cause the foundation is not speaking to me. It can be a small foundation, like one tile high, but I don't think I want it to be big anymore with like the visible stone. I, I think it's too much to have the stone and the tile. We can use some very orange tile. We can really go all out with this on the inside. I don't think that's good though. Maybe on the outside, we could use the jungle adventure stuff. Cause that's still orange, but in a more subtle and attainable way. It's like orange, but less aggressive, you know? And I think that's good. <laughs> I think that's a win. I also think that having the front is good because that helps to break up the front entrance. Ooh, let's use the season's windows. That could be good. Well, maybe. <laughs> it could maybe be good. I'm, I'm still kind of undecided there. Should it be like a gray roof trim? Because that's what matches the color of the rest of it. This is just like a little dark. Yikes, 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 yikes. All of it's bad. Oh no. 
Maybe darker is better. Oh, the breeze block is really cool. That could be an idea. I'm actually right now kind of leaning towards just using the base game windows. I like a couple of these. In particular, I like how these have, oh, well, that's not gonna be good. Yeah, in particular, I like how these have a shutter. I think the shutter helps because it adds some like dimension to the outside. Oh, this thing is small. That could be cool and like short enough in a good way, maybe. Do the windows need to be, Ugh. see, it doesn't match. This is why I don't use the, the orange wallpaper because if we use like the creamy color, all of a sudden it matches. I don't think it looks better, but it does match better. Uh, all this because I want to have the orange wallpaper. It's not worth it, Kayla. Okay, hear me out for a second. The pool goes right here. We get kind of like a cute back door space right there. It's covered. I'll add in some landscaping on the patio. I'll probably do landscaping right there too. I don't know if having that is good. <laughs> I might want to have a dirt that's like more orange. I don't know. We'll see. This part has potential though because I could try to like alt place myself a little planter box in front of that. I could do the same thing back here. Those are an item. It's like a support, roof support beam, but I'm using it as if it's a fence. And then maybe the front of the house has like mostly small windows and we get bigger windows in the back because that's where you can look at the pool. Okay, something like that. Simple and subtle, but hopefully useful. On the inside, we're gonna wanna have, I think probably like two bedrooms maybe. I might have to scoot over this part depending on how the rooms get laid out. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, um, this is worse than I thought. I need to have at least two bedrooms, I think. Two bedrooms would be good. I'm thinking that something like this might be okay because we've got a big bedroom, a small bedroom, and then a decently sized bathroom right here. The roof still looks interesting from the outside. It's functional. I can put a little window in the bathroom. And then we have like a nice little hallway space so we can easily fit in doors and not have them be in the way. That does make the living room extremely small. <laughs> like that makes this part so, 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 so tiny. I could probably steal some extra space back from this bedroom. This is gonna be expensive. It's like the house is tiny, but it's gonna cost a million dollars. I don't know what I've been thinking. Are there orange kitchen cabinets? <laughs> um, the answer is yes, but that is not really, um, <laughs> that's not what I was picturing when I said orange. I'm just putting some cabinets here for a second so I can think layout quickly. Just ignore the furniture. Okay, it's not gonna stay like this, I swear. <laughs> I'll make it better than that, I promise. So I'm kind of imagining, maybe there has to be a wall here because that keeps it separate and then we have more space for the TV, but I'm kind of envisioning something like this for the layout of the living space. We could maybe even possibly, depending on how big this place ends up being, we could maybe get a kitchen island. This window is not going to work anymore if we do that. I guess I could just raise it up. I don't really like how that is laid out, but <laughs> it might work. It might be fine. And that gives us plenty of room for a small dining table there. I don't know. We can decide that once we pick color scheme and like furniture colors. I guess we did pick the color scheme. <laughs> But we can decide like how much furniture needs to be in there once we start thinking about like the colors that we have available to us. Okay, thoughts on this as the living room rug. It's kind of leaning more red than orange, but part of me thinks that that's kind of cool. We can definitely use it somewhere. It doesn't have to be in the living room, but we can put it in one of the rooms. Oh, wow, how about that? Okay, okay, how about we could use this kind of cool sunset rug for the bedroom. This one is actually quite nice too because it's it's orange, but it's not like aggressively orange. Oh, and that's also a little bit bigger. So if I did that one, I could maybe fit more in here. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking that that might be for the best because that helps bring in some more color variants. I'm also kind of thinking right now that we should do a little switcheroo of the door because I think that maybe the door should be in the kitchen and then the dining table should be over here because that way I can scoot this up against the window and then we have more space for tables. I think that is a way more logical layout. I feel like this makes a ton of sense. I don't love the cabinetry in here. I think it's because of the color of the countertop, but I don't really like any of the colors of the countertops. There is an orange fridge and an orange stove. Doing this is bold and brave because <laughs> that is a really kind of chaotic color scheme. We obviously don't have to use that. I'm just kind of thinking that it might be fun because we're trying to like really embrace this orange thing. Do you think it's okay if the fridge is kind of clipping into the cabinetry? Because I don't mind it too much with this layout, but I'm worried, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm worried about it. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a very aggressive color scheme. Um. 
I don't know if I can bring myself to use that one. Oh, this is pretty. Ooh, you know what? That actually kind of matches the rug with like the triangles and the alternating colors. I think that kind of looks cool. Let's use that as the kitchen tile and then I'll do the same thing in the bathroom. See, this is the spirit of the challenge. We're trying to find swatches of things that we never ever ever use. And so far, I think that's actually working out quite nicely. The microwave does come in orange. It's a different shade of orange, so I probably shouldn't use it. We'll get ourselves a sink right there, and then maybe, should I put a dishwasher or something? That's kind of blocked by the cabinet. That's probably a bad thing. I don't I don't know about the dishwasher. Oh, oh, the dishwasher comes in orange. That actually changes things for me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The fact that it comes in orange, all of a sudden I want to use it. This has oranges in it, so I think we can put the fruit bowl. Let's think dining chairs for a second. Let's think dining chairs for a second. So there's like the classic base game chair. It does come in orange. This one has a very vibrant shade of orange, which is cute, but maybe too much for the inside. I might use it for a patio chair though. Oh, yikes. There's not really that much that comes in orange as far as chairs go. That's disappointing. Okay, maybe I will just use that plain table then. I, this, get, the game is classing this is orange, but I think that's a stretch. I don't agree. This is orange. <laughs> that is an orange swatch. That has way darker wood than I was using everywhere else. Is that like, I don't know. I keep like pausing and, and thinking to myself, hmm, have we got too far now? Like I keep having to stop and think about it. I like that. I think that looks cool. I really want to use the rug big, but that kind of like, uh, this being off center is really annoying. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a good idea or not. You've probably been yelling at the screen about this, but I swear I have a vision for how I'm going to fix it. I was picturing that I'd try and put like some sort of tall, piece of cabinetry next to it. Whoa, that's very dark color. But I thought I would have some sort of taller cabinet. This one is like definitely a bathroom cabinet, but there is some sort of thing from Horse Ranch. Okay, like this one. This is more along the lines of what I was picturing. It does come in the same color as the other cabinetry, and we can try and scoot this as much as possible. But I think the like tall height makes this seem like it's not so off center and we'll get like a nice big picture over it to help fill in the wall. We do have this one. This is kind of a cool like framed map. Oh, 2,400. <laughs> okay, what was that about the house being cheaper, Kayla? What, what were you saying about that? Okay, well, I was picturing something like this one above the couch and this kind of matches the vibes of the house. So I can put that over here next to the door. Okay, coffee table. That one is from the book nook kit. It, but it's too good to pass up, so I'm gonna use it. These are cabinets, but I'm gonna use them to make it look like we have some sort of built-in TV situation, and I'll put the TV on it. Obviously, that's off-center, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. That kind of thing happens all the time in real life. Like, you know, the walls are where the walls are, so you can't really always mess with it. That kind of thing happens all the time in real life. Like, the walls just are where they are, so you furnish around them. I'm making this ceiling fan into a ceiling light by putting a light bulb in there. I might also size it down a bit because the ceiling fan, it's a, it's visually very annoying with it taking up that much space in the room. <laughs> but I think it makes sense for a house like this to have a ceiling fan. Do we dare use the orange walls in a lot of other places in here? Probably not. Maybe I do the orange walls, but mix and match with some lightly colored ones. I like this wallpaper because I like how it has the trim and like a little bit of a stone accent at the bottom. I do use it a lot, so it's not really in the spirit of the challenge because it's not new to me, but you can't use all new things. If you use all new, then it just becomes too much. Sometimes you gotta rely on what you know and like mix and match from there. I do think that the orange on this wall is cool and I'm tempted to use the orange on this big wall. Uh, never mind. Just on this one. <laughs> Just the one accent wall, please, actually. I'm gonna get a thermostat here. I think I might try and get a little plant in the corner as well. A simple one. It's a small space, so I'll, I'll do what'll fit. And that might be the whole kitchen, living, dining room finished. I'm worried about putting too much and then having it not be functional. At least this way your sims can get through here, they can walk around, they've got space. So that leaves us with the bathroom, two bedrooms, and literally everything else. <laughs> the whole Outside. Does this actually not come in orange? There's no orange swatch on the bathrobe. We do have orange on some of these, but I really actually dislike the color of the metal there, but it's okay. It's worth having some sort of orange. I don't really know how much else to put in here. Can we do an outdoor rug? Is that a terrible idea? Let's come back to that. <laughs> Let me think about that later. Let's think about the inside. I normally would do a bath mat. However, none of these orange ones are really speaking to me. So I'm not gonna 
put one, I don't think. I'm still deciding between these two rugs. I'm gonna base it on whatever bed I end up picking. I never, ever, ever use this one. This one is from Jungle Adventure. I do not like that one. Okay, never mind. This is the Seasons one. I use that one more often because I like the Seasons bed a lot. So maybe I try the Jungle Adventure one and I'm kind of tempted to use this swatch. I wonder if I could put two of these together and have it look okay. I don't know, like if we try and scoot that and layer them, you can see a tiny, tiny seam right there, but I don't actually think it's that obvious. So we could probably get away with it. There are some rugs where you can totally do that and they layer nicely and it's like totally fine. And other ones, it just does not work. But with this one, I think the pattern kind of lends itself well to that. I know we want to have an orange. <laughs> oh my God. That chair is like really obnoxious. And then this, I think of that as being more red, the color of that keyboard, but I'm just going to use it anyway. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. Let's use that picture here. Does this base game one have an orange swatch across? Oh my God. Of course it does. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Could not have asked for anything more. This is coming together exactly as I imagined it would. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to make the orange look intentional and cool. I don't normally do this sort of color scheme. I don't really like this sort of color scheme. So if you're sat here like watching this and thinking, wow, it's so ugly. I know it is a little bit, but like in kind of a fun way, right? It's ugly in a fun way. I don't like this computer anymore. It's too much money. Use like a reasonably priced computer, Kayla. <laughs> and maybe I'll scoot these little decorative pieces back a bit. That's nice. And then I think maybe just like a bookshelf would be good for this wall because you can kind of scoot that into the wall a little bit so it's not so bad and that's a nice fully furnished bedroom they are probably going to want to have a ceiling fan i speak from experience as a person who lives in florida ceiling fans go a long way <laughs> if you're in the desert you're going to want that now does this wallpaper come in? Okay, that's not orange, that's beige, Never mind. I'm looking through all of the wallpapers, trying to see which one might be nice for the bedroom. There are some of like these <laughs> that are all orange. I kind of like the idea of doing one that has some more pattern to it, but the only orange patterned ones are like literally ghosts. And I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, that has blue and a lot of blue, but what if we use that with an all orange bed and then we had a lot of orange accents furniture wise? Cause we could kind of do this like sports theme thing in here. I'll get like orange rug, orange bed. We could maybe even use like this thing cause this is like a bright orange dresser. So that helps to embrace the orange too. And the wallpaper, it has like red, but the basketball is orange. So we can pretend that it works. <laughs> We can just act like it's fine. Oh my god. Looking through the orange furniture options, it's like genuinely kind of scary. There's so many and they're so bright. Oh, wow. My first pet stuff craft table. Bright orange, but like kind of in a fun way. Also, look how cute this is. That's like an orange slice. It's actually the marbles mat. I don't know what happens if you size that up. I don't know if it like ruins anything, but I'm kind of curious to try it. I'm kind of nervous that because it has gameplay function, it like won't really work like a rug, but I don't care. I'm kind of curious just to see. There are some orange toys. Um, calling this orange is a bit of a stretch. <laughs> That's kind of a, a weird brownish orange, but it'll work. And we can do some fun orange pictures on the wall. Maybe the kid could have like, I don't know, maybe this goes over here. I'm just realizing that this child has the best windows in the entire house. They have the most windows out of everybody. <laughs> They're the biggest ones with the view of the backyard. This is a very, very lucky kid. Is there an orange? Oh, hold on. Oh wait, maybe I should use this out here. I was gonna ask if there was an orange lava lamp. I don't think that there is. There is an orange light like this and that's cute. And then there's like sports decor that we can try and add in for them. This picture is not really very orange, but it has orange in it. So I can put that up. This is just like literal sports decor and that's got a basketball on it. So, oh, Oh, very weird. Look at the tennis racket and the rug. I don't know if that's okay or not. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we'll see. That's orange. So I guess that's good too. Is there like a toy box or something that comes in orange? Oh, there is like the monster one. I don't really like that one though. Maybe I'll do this instead of the giant teddy bear. Cause I always use the teddy bears. I don't always use the like toy boxes. Cause truthfully, I don't like the toy boxes that much, but I could put a couple little toys out in front of the toy box and the toys themselves don't have to be orange. 
orange, I don't think. They can be like any color. And maybe that's the whole interior done. This is a very chaotic home. Chaotic in a bad way, potentially, but that's all right. Let's think about patio furniture for a second. So we know that we're gonna wanna have some little lights up on the porch. I think a pool trim is gonna make a world of a difference. There are orange pool trims. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth using, but you know, just to point it out, it does exist. This is kind of a fun one. I like how it has some more color to it. I realize this pool is like extremely small, but I think that's okay because the lot is really small. We do have an orange umbrella. <laughs> I would really like to use this and then have some lounge chairs with it. It's just kind of hard for me to alt place that and have it not look silly, but I think that's okay. Then maybe I could get a gate so you can get out of the backyard and I'll put like a trash can back here. I think I'll put some planter boxes behind the lounge chairs. I might also scoot them just a little bit further back because they're kind of tight and close to this. And then I think I'd like to get a grill. I don't think that they come in orange. Yeah, the only orange grills are cauldrons. <laughs> That's not gonna work. This one's kind of orangey though. And we have a lot of bright orange happening. So I think I can use these chairs. I guess those chairs and then like a nice little table that seems like it might work nicely outside. I don't like that one. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it needs to be like a pedestal table, but I'm not really feeling too excited about any of these. Orange plant on top. <laughs> that helps, there you go. Okay, I really actually like the backyard. I don't know if we should do too much else aside from maybe if they fit, I'd like to get some fairy lights. Okay, it does fit, just not with my umbrella. So how high up can I raise this and not have it be weird? One, two, three, four. That's clipping like just a smidge but can you really tell? Like, do we, can we just ignore that? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. It's not clipping anymore with that part. I think I'd rather have the fairy lights and just ignore the fact that it's like kind of tight. I think it's it's worth having them. And then we can go in and try and get some pretty landscaping. There's actually quite a few little orange flowers that we can put around the place. I'm gonna start with these and put them in the planter boxes in a couple areas. And here underneath the window, I might just put some, some bushes. I think that's fine for this part. Okay, palm trees are a necessity. I think that helps a ton having some more like plants around. I'm gonna put this flower three times and like kind of rotate it a couple different ways. And then I want to go into debug to see if we can get some debug bushes that kind of look like the ones around here, specifically kind of like these bushes. I've got the foundation off right now, but I am gonna put it back. I, I just deleted it so I can think about how to push the bushes up close to it. Yeah, I'm thinking like a bush sort of like that one in there. And then maybe I could take this and I don't know, rotate it around a couple times. The mailbox could go here on the end, kind of underneath the palm tree. Oh, maybe that should be all the landscaping. Maybe we shouldn't overdo it. We could potentially get some like flowers like these ones. I never, ever, ever use these pansies. I actually don't, I don't like the colors of them that much. That's kind of the reasoning, but those could be cute underneath some of this stuff just to add a little bit more greenery. You know, keeping in mind that we are in Oasis Springs, so it's not like greenery is a necessity, but <laughs> it's still nice to have some. I'm getting some like decor pieces on the wall with these little mega wall hunks. <laughs> I think that helps. And that has kind of an orangey color. I just don't know how much is too much for the landscaping. I do think I want to get a chess table. I know I like always use chess tables in this game, but I think that chess tables are very, very useful for gameplay. So if I'm gonna go through and put anything else out here, I'm thinking just a couple functional nice items that'll help our Sims. Maybe an easel could be a fun thing to have in the corner like that. And then maybe like, I don't know, a bench or something? It's hard because this is quite close to the front door. Oh, oh no, let's get that item. Oh no, let's put like a doormat and then maybe I'll get another planter box or two. Possibly just one. I'm not gonna use these as like real planter boxes. I'm mostly just using them as a place to put extra landscaping, but I think the orange flowers are really pretty right there. And maybe that's the whole house finished. It's way too expensive. It's 52,000 simoleons for a two bedroom, one bath house. That is absolutely shameful. I don't know how I keep doing this. I even said it was gonna try and be cheap too. Like I, I said that in the beginning of the video. Liar, huge liar. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I, I did my best, okay? <laughs> I think my favorite part is actually the kitchen. I love this tile. This one is from the Courtyard Oasis kit. And it's one of those things that I, I don't really use that often because I think it's beautiful, but it's so vibrant that it's hard to match to a lot of the builds that I do. But this was like the perfect time. So I'm glad we did that. The last thing is I just want to check that this bed is actually usable. I'm not sure if that rug works like a rug. 
Oh no. She can get inside. She can't get to the bed. Is it because of the rug or is it because of the sports? Oh, oh, it might be because of the sports. I'll scoot him over. The other concern is I don't actually know what happens if you try and play marbles with this. We don't have any kids in the house who can use the marbles mat. I haven't tried sizing it up yet. This is, this is new for me. Maybe I'll go into Cass and we can get a kid and have them play test it for us. Wake up. Ignore the alien, by the way. She's just a test sim. I'm, I'm working on an alien build right now, so she's just in the save. Okay, random sim, Allison. Sure. Practice marbles. Come here, kid. I just want to see what it looks like. I think it should be- oh no, the marbles are huge. Okay. <laughs> that was what I was wondering about. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be normal, but you can play with giant marbles. It does look kind of weird because when they throw them, it's kind of strange and they're like kneeling in one of them, but I'm not too bothered by this. I think it's kind of fun, so I'm gonna keep it. Can you stop though? Because I don't want to put it on the gallery with marbles down there. That'd be weird. <laughs> It's a secret marbles mat. I'm gonna call it Orange Oasis. <laughs> it's a two bedroom, one bathroom house. I had fun with this. I don't think the outside is that good, but I really enjoyed doing the interior. I thought the interior was like really exciting. It's fun for me to, did that even go on the gallery? Why did I feel like that didn't upload? Oh no, it did. Okay, sorry. You just can't trust this game sometimes. It's weird. Like the gallery barely works. But it was fun for me to like try and use a lot of these items that I don't normally go for. I didn't even realize the marbles mat had an orange slice swatch. I've never used this color on this toy box. Things like the orange fridge and stove. Like when, when really do I get a chance to do that? So hopefully you enjoyed this kind of chaotic build. <laughs> if you liked this, I do a lot of builds here on my YouTube channel. Most of them are a little bit less in your face colors scheme wise. And I also do a lot of building over on my Twitch streams. I'm live literally every day playing The Sims on Twitch. So if you want to come by, my name's just Lil Samesy on there. I'll link it down below for you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I am going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. It's the bed. The bed in the primary bedroom is like really bright. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit.